welcome back to my youtube channel you know it's your girl jojo sam like share subscribe click that notification bell to stay updated whenever jojo sam makes and uploads a video also be sure to leave a comment down below so in my previous video i asked what you guys think i'll be using next as a part of growing my hair and i wanted to use sea moss but i've been doing some more research and i found something else quite interesting to use and that is clothes clothes will not be a part of this video today but definitely the next upcoming video for my hair growth will be definitely including how is it that i use the clothes so in this video at the beginning you saw what i'll be using to do a hair treatment for my hair using oats some leftover ripened bananas as well as avocado honey milk coconut oil and the cream of nature aloe vera and black castor oil hair leave-in treatment and yeah let's get to it so just to start off i'll be adding two cups or three cups of water i just used the entire water that was in my jug i covered it so that it could come to a boil so now that it has come to a boil i'll be adding my oats these oats are big oats it doesn't matter really what oats you use but this is what i had in my house right now so basically i just used it so i added two cups and i had to be stirring it around so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot so yes i checked upon it occasionally so to find out at what texture or how far it is to be done so as you previously seen in my hair videos i've been using banana as a part of my hair growth journey so these bananas were leftovers and i had them in the freezer they're now thawed so i'll be adding them as well as avocado that was left over from my previous hair mixture and i'll be mixing it in my blender to add to what i'll be making for my hair treatment today i will also be adding the juice that was from the bag that the banana and the avocado was stored in so i'm also be adding now milk and i just added half a cup of milk you don't have to be specific about your quantity but just to be professional i added half a cup so now i'll be adding my honeycomb honey 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 from the honeycomb <laughs> You don't have to be specific on the quantity again i just added half a teaspoon to my mixture that i'll be mixing today so i'll be using this kirkland organic coconut oil as a part of my mixture today it was bought in a solidified form but because of the heat and being in the house it got to liquid so i'll be just using quarter cup of it as a part of my mixture today you don't have to be specific about the quantity as well and as previously shown the cream of nature black castor oil and aloe i'll be adding that to my mixture as well i'll be using about half a teaspoon or a tablespoon or whatever you call this <laughs> So it's all done i couldn't find the cover for my blender so i just use a cover and i'm blending it and i blend it until it's smooth and there you go there you have it so now my oats is done i just left it to rest for 10 minutes before blending it up i chose to blend it because i find that if i blend it it becomes much more refined and i can get more nutrients out of it that way so I blended it up and after you'll see what I do with it. I also added some water to it because I think that it was a little bit too thick. Because as you know, oats, it absorbs water. So that is why I added a little water to this mixture that I made. And there you go. That's how it looks when it has been blended. So. I'll be blending or combining together both mixtures in this part of the making. 
and basically there you have it and now i'll be straining the mixture using a hair cap so this is how you do it <laughs> yes i put it over the container the mouth of the container and i pour the mixture through it i'll be squeezing the mixture until it is finished straining this felt so good <laughs> but i had to be careful because i never wanted it to fall from me because that would be a mess of course and then i never wanted it to be a waste of the ear cap so i just took my time and do it until the mixture was dried i strained everything <laughs> look at it just look <laughs> so there that was what was left from the straining so there you go that's my mixture and i'll be transferring it to the container that i'll be storing in but not just this not this drug but another container for this video purpose i poured it in this so you could have a better view of what it looked like yada yada yeah yeah <laughs> so here's the consistency of it i wanted it to be a little bit more thicker but that's fine that it's liquidy but the way that it is it's just fine so basically that's it everyone thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below also stay tuned for any upcoming videos that i will be doing on me and my hair growth journey as i will be giving reviews time and time again as it regards to how the use of the oatmeal really helped me and my hair all right people later